Power Studios in downtown Salisbury. This is 47 ABC News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Vince Benedetti. 47 ABC News starts now. The Pocobog man accused of abusing and murdering his three-year-old nephew will continue to be held without bond. 27-year-old Kevin Sewell had a bond hearing this morning in Worcester County District Court. State prosecutors say his nephew sustained injuries while in Sewell's care on Sunday and died from those injuries on Tuesday. Sewell is facing second-degree murder and first-degree child abuse charges, which could mean 70 years behind bars. State prosecutors say the date for his next court appearance has not been set yet. One contractor is dead, another hospitalized after an electrocution this morning at Eastern Correctional Institution in Westover. It all started this morning around 10 a.m. at ECI when two contractors were reportedly working on an electrical control upgrade at the ECI power plant off Route 13 in Somerset County. Officials say there wasn't any significant interruption of service to the prison and the incident did not have an impact on overall prison operations. No other injuries were reported. The second worker is expected to be released from the hospital. The price of higher education keeps getting higher. Students attending schools within the University System of Maryland will be paying more next year. Most in-state students will see a 5% tuition increase. This includes students attending the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and Salisbury University. But in-state students at the University of Maryland Baltimore County will see a 7% jump. This is apparently because the school was supposed to have a mid-year 2% hike and that's being added on to the next year. Overall, the increases are expected to boost the system's revenue by $50 million. But it's not just Maryland universities. Tuition at Delaware State University will grow by 3% in the next school year. The increase calls for in-state tuition to be raised $98 per semester and $223 per semester for out-of-state students. Housing costs, housing costs will reportedly remain the same. DSU President Harry Williams says this increase will go toward infrastructure improvements and help students graduate in four years. Good news for Maryland drivers. Governor Hogan announced statewide toll reductions. According to reports, starting July 1st, the Bay Bridge toll will jump from $6 to $4 for two axle cars. The state also is increasing Easy Pass discounts at tolls and bridges, and they are eliminating the $1.5 fee for holding a Maryland Easy Pass. Officials say the reduction will save drivers about $54 million a year. Salisbury University's inaugural entrepreneurship week Entrepreneurship Week continues today with the Ratcliffe Shore Hatchery Competition. Today's contest was the fourth round of a five-year program hosted each semester. Fifteen teams from the Mid-Atlantic region were vying for their share of $125,000 in prize money. Oasis Marinas, an Annapolis-based business that took home the top prize last fall, came back today for another shot. I think that that's really what did it. We had a very clear vision about where we were, what our product was going to be, uh, and we can uh, speak specifically about what we thought were going to be some roadblocks ahead of us. The winners of this round of Shore Hatchery applicants are expected to be announced sometime this evening. Be sure to follow us online for the latest. Thanks for making us your choice for news. If you missed any of the phone numbers or web links for any of the stories tonight, you can find them at our website, 47abc.com. Good night.